Greetings to everyone. Uh, I have here a new review of uh, what I call my uh, Magnificent Seven. These are uh, hand sized uh, Bibles that uh, to me are uh, very dear, and uh, uh, some of them I use more than others, but they all have their own space in my reading time uh, of the scripture. So let's start with this. Uh, lovely uh, uh, edition of uh, Pit Minion uh, by Cambridge in brown goat skin uh, in the New King James Version of the Bible. Uh, this is a very nice and, and, and supple uh, uh, grain and, and, and texture. Uh, very pleasant to the feel. As you can see, it's uh, the grain is, is um, very pebbly and uh, over time, this uh, has become very, very, very soft and uh, flexible. Although it's a paste down cover, as you can see here, but it is uh, uh, very flexible uh, after a bit of usage. So, if you're going to use this Bible uh, as a, in a regular basis, uh, you're going to find that this leather, this cover, is going to become very soft, flexible. Um, yet sturdy. Now this Bible has something really amazing which is a font that although it's a small font I would say it's a small font it is so clear crisp and readable that uh, I could even use it uh, uh, if I had to preach uh, from, from, from this Bible uh, if you have bad eyes, well, I will not recommend this Bible. But if your eyes are okay, uh, and uh, you'll be able to, to enjoy the reading of this Bible. This is a red letter edition. And as you can see here, it is a very nice red, dark, and consistent uh, uh, red. This Bible has art gilding. Uh, red on the gold, um, a very light red, salmon in color, looks like a, a very light red, more kind of salmon, and uh, on the gold, which I think is, is very nice. And it comes with uh, two brown ribbons, very thin, because this paper is thin, so uh, this is the type of ribbon that will not mark your pages over time. So I think they are very clever doing that. Some people don't like them, but I think they are pretty good. Now let's go to the back of this uh, uh, lovely Bible. This edition has, um, has a very nice concordance in three column. As you can see here, very readable as well. And uh, it comes as well with uh, maps by Cambridge, 15 maps, full color has a map index which I think is very neat as well uh, color coded and uh, here you have the maps uh, a full color uh, in um, very thick paper it's not cardstock but it's, it's uh, a very thick paper that uh, gives this uh, a Bible uh, a very nice and thin and uh, a footprint I would say is that what you call it and um, it doesn't make it too thick so it's still very portable now you have a few blank pages in the back if you want to write your own notes and that's uh, it for this uh, edition the pit minion and brown goat skin new King James uh, one of my favorites now Let's go ahead with this other uh, edition of uh, Ruby by Allen. This uh, is also a tiny little baby. Look at the size. My hands are very small, but my hand covers this uh, Bible completely. This is a black goat skin, but this one has a very nice navy blue uh, cat skin. In the, as the inner liner tapped into the text block making this uh, a leather very very flexible as you can see right here it is a slightly smaller than the pit minion 
uh, for one reason, and it is this yap is going to fool you. But if you actually fold the yap, you will see that the Bible is slightly shorter than the pit minion. It's about three quarters of an inch, I'd say. Now, let's check it out. This paper is also uh, very, very thin. Thinner than the pit minion, I'd say, but it's very good quality paper. Uh, the font is slightly smaller, and it is in an old type font. Uh, I think it's classy. This one has a very rich dark red under gold, and in this case, this edition comes with this uh, lovely uh, gilding around the perimeter as well. Uh, this Bible, in uh, at the end, you have a, a lot of uh, helps. This Bible has a lot of help at the end of it. You can see here you've got Dictionary of Scripture Proper Names. This is amazing. This is something that you are going to enjoy if you like study. All right, and uh, especially if you, when you read the King James, uh, this would be very helpful to, helpful to you. Then you got a, a subject index to the Holy Scriptures, which is great too for a deeper study. Uh, you have, for example, here, Abomination of Desolation, and it tells you where to go to find it in the Scripture. Very good indeed. Uh, then you got a concordance. All right. And what else do we have in this uh, tiny little fella? We got uh, concordance. Let's try to get to the very end pretty quickly. And then we got the maps with a few extra pages, blank pages. And we got the typical maps here uh, in full color uh, in a very nice thick paper as well. We've got five, five of them. And as, a, as an addition, you have a ruled uh, a paper uh, in the back for your notes and, and, and uh, reflections. Uh, a couple of uh, cardstock pages in blank as well. And uh, I think this is a very nice edition also done by Alan. Uh, this is the Ruby edition in black goat skin. So let's go for next one. This is the Compact Westminster Reference Bible in the King James Version as well. This is also a paste down, but this is a Meriva uh, calfskin. So smooth and flexible as you can see. Uh, uh, and very nice to the, to the feel. Uh, you want to hold this all day long and, and carry it with you. It has a lovely uh, gold gilding this one doesn't have art gilding so it's just basically gold on top of the white pages but this is an excellent edition also the uh, kjv with a very readable small font i could say that although this is a small tiny font you won't have a problem reading it it reads a lot bigger than it actually is and you have all these margins full of uh, references on both sides so you have the text in the middle and then you got it, your uh, references on the outside I think it's a new design very nice this is actually an edition uh, of a bigger brother uh, full-size uh, Westminster edition uh, I will review that uh, in some, some other time but this Bible is, is very very nice it has these introductions to each uh, uh, book of the Bible and also what is neat about this uh, edition is that uh, archaic uh, words from the King James Version you will have uh, uh, on the margins also its modern uh, equivalents which I think is also something very neat and nice now not only in the first uh, part of the book you have an introduction but you also have introductions to chapters like in this case chapter 6 you have there an introduction to the chapter um, here 18 you got that introduction right there 
and I think that is class. Uh, not many Bibles to have this type of uh, extra uh, uh, introductions for each chapter. Uh, this is a black letter edition, as you can see in the Gospels right here. And uh, I think you're gonna enjoy this little fella. Uh, very easy to carry. It's not big. You can see it's as big, let's say, as the ruby. And uh, but this one actually. I want to show you it has a few extra helps in the back and here we have a list of words and proper names uh, how to pronounce them if you are not uh, uh, very fluent in, in these uh, Hebrew names um, how they are pronounced this is a great help um, daily reading plan, reading, daily reading plan. Appendix 3, so you got uh, a first year uh, reading plan and a second year, so it's a two year, it's a two year reading plan, which I think is brilliant as well, if you don't have that much time, you can do it in two years, you can read your whole bible, but you got a few extra pages here in plan for notes, now this is thin paper, you will have to use probably a uh, uh, it's thin, but not that thin. Don't get me wrong. It's a very high quality paper. And this is, uh, but you can use uh, your micro micron pens uh, for notes. And uh, there you go. It's a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Around ten. Let's say ten, twelve pages, or even more. Oh look, so that's class. And there you got these maps that uh, are very modern maps. And it's a difference with the other Bibles that I just showed you and the full color and I think they are also very neat, very nice uh, uh, maps that you have them and uh, you will enjoy this Bible very very well uh, you, you will enjoy this Bible for sure Paul's uh, missionary journeys check that out and here is a hurricane in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> Very nice as well. And in the back, you got another two blank pages. Your paste down in vinyl, black color. The corner work here is, is also very good. You can see there. Now, this leather is so thick. It's a very thick uh, piece of leather of calfskin. You're going to enjoy this Bible. Now, this Bible has four ribbons, two red, two black. Also, they're thin, so they don't get any intentions on your um, uh, pages. And uh, uh, the, the, the has a slightly recent uh, hubs here in the spine, which I think they're very nice. They're also tooled. And uh, this is by TBS, by the way. I forgot to mention it. And the uh, Trinity Bible uh, Society. There you go. This is the Westminster edition of King James in a compact version. And here's another um, Bible that uh, I am so uh, delighted to have. Uh, this is a, a church, uh, a local church Bible publishers a cameo in the King James version, authorized King James, in brown calfskin. Uh, ironed uh, capstan as you can see here I have uh, done two videos of this uh, 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 edition and uh, still holding uh, very well uh, holding on very well this leather is only becoming softer and softer and it's unbelievable and uh, uh, it's a leather line the etched line right there uh, this Bible I uh, kind of uh, did the special uh, thing to it. I changed the uh, ribbons right here uh, for this uh, Bursford, Bursford uh, ribbons in, in three uh, different uh, tones of uh, gold and uh, I added uh, red on the gold uh, art guild as you can see right there but what is massive about this Bible is it's so small it really is small but the text is so readable it's so nice in the eye, uh, uh, 
you have bad eyes, you will have a problem reading this. This is around 8, 8 8.5 font, but it is so well done, it's so bold, and uh, even though it's an uh, old style font, it reads really good, I think. Well, that would be me, I could be biased, but uh, I really like this one. This is a, a, a very nice edition. This one I really like because of its color. Look at this navy blue uh, Clarendon KJV by Allen as well. Uh, this one has a tooled, uh, what you call it, tooled uh, hubs in the spine. They're not raised, they're just tooled in leather. Uh, in leather is in gold. This one is the uh, Cyclopedic uh, Concordance, which is a special edition of the Concordance, but comes with a lot more to it. Now, the grain of this goat skin is unbelievable. It's so soft, but at the same time, uh, you can feel the, the, the ro not roughness, but the, uh, uh, the grain is somehow uh, deep and uh, it feels so good to your hand that you just want to hold this Bible all day long. Um, it is, I don't know if this is actually full yet, but it does have, I believe, yeah, you could say that this is a full yet, and uh, it is edge lined. As you can see here, uh, this one is a, a, a goatskin leather, not Highland goatskin. That would would have been um, amazing, like uh, the former edition of this same uh, Bible. Uh, but nevertheless, it's great. It has this gold uh, line around the perimeter too. This one is not stitched; it's glued. But this is so well made that it won't come apart. Now. This is red on the gold, as you can see here, and it's amazing how that does it. The paper on this Bible, it's, uh, it's a bit thin, uh, similar to, I'd say, the one that we have in the ruby, and uh, the paper on, on the, the, the Bible that we just reviewed from local church Bible Project is much thicker than this, but at the same time, it's not as good quality as this. This is thinner, but it's better quality, if that makes sense. Uh, the bleed through, sorry, the show through the ghost in this one is not so bad, uh, although it's thin, but it doesn't really bother me in my eyes because uh, it really does look in most places that this, this would be like line matched. I don't know if that, that was meant to be that way, but in most cases what I see some kind of ghosting in this Bible it kind of matches the other side of the page, so I don't have a problem with that. This uh, font is similar to the one of Cambridge, the one of Cameo, uh, uh, but uh, this is the Oxford edition and a very bold, very easy to read and uh, I think you just have a look at this, so crisp. And uh, this one, like uh, the one from uh, Alan that we reviewed, uh, the Ruby, also comes with uh, uh, a huge amount of uh, study helps in the back of this. Uh, it comes with concordance, it comes with a dictionary, it comes with uh, uh, all this extra amount of stuff that uh, let me have a look at this. Look at that. So this is the uh, harmony of the life of a uh, uh, messiah. Uh, this is incredible stuff. To, to you really, if you're really serious about studying the, the Bible, it comes with some pictures in there. Uh, let's have a look. More pictures. Dictionary. This is concordance. And. Uh, this is in Palmyra. Lovely picture right there. Um, maps. Oxford maps. Okay. And a bunch of uh, blank pages for you to write your notes. Look at that. It's amazing how many notes you can do with this one. This one comes with three ribbons. Uh, in navy blue, very lovely, right there. 
and uh, full yeah, but I think that's a very nice addition. Now, here's one of my favorites. This is the uh, new American standard uh, quintal in personal size uh, by Skyler and uh, in tan color. Uh, the green of this gold skin is unreal. I really like this one. Look at that, those marks right there. You can see it. Uh, I think this is amazing. It comes with the Jerusalem cross stitched around the perimeter all the way. And uh, in this case, this gold on the red as well. But this is amazing. You can see that such a small Bible you can actually have this small Bible and read from it all day long because the font, although it's not as big as a 10 point font, it reads as big. It really does. This is an 8.5, I think it is, a Milo font. And uh, it's exactly the same as the big quintels that they, they produce in Skyler. And uh, it comes with red uh, uh, chapters, numbers on the chapters are in red, the uh, books as well. Very rich red. Uh, let's take a look. It's black uh, letter that you don't have the, the words of Christ in red. But uh, plenty of uh, cross references at the bottom right here with, uh, if you can see here, with the numbers in red too, right there, see here, I think that's very, very nice to see. Uh, this Bible doesn't have a concordance to make it kind of thin, and uh, but it comes with maps, uh, just a couple of uh, blank pages with uh, uh, Bible paper, this is not car stock, car, just a few of them there, there, there. and uh, a few uh, blank car stock pages in the back too. Now, this is uh, also leather lined and, and a very nice calfskin with also this uh, golden perimeter, sorry, golden line around the perimeter, which I think is very neat too. Now, this is so soft. I've been using this for a while, but it only comes softer and stuff. Look at that. It only, it only, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Now, this one comes with two uh, thicker ribbons uh, in a very nice brown. These are 10 millimeter ribbons and uh, goat skin. You can have this also in calf skin if you wanted to. Uh, this is a, an amazing Bible. Uh, you won't be disappointed if you got one of these. Uh, can't wait for Skyler to do this one in the new King James. Uh, but so far just the NASB, which is also a very good translation, very literal. Okay, that's that one there. And uh, finally, I got another awesome edition of the KJV, King James, authorized King James, by Cambridge. Uh, this is uh, also uh, a great addition in goat skin. Black. This leather is amazing. Look how it takes the tooling of, of, on the spine. It's amazing right there. You can see it. It's awesome. This one is also a stitched in the perimeter, like Skyler. Uh, in this case, this goat skin has a liner, uh, which is synthetic. It's not uh, leather, but it is a uh, very strong flexible at the same time and uh, playable liner. You can't go wrong with this. This has been used in many of their Bibles and, and it's great. It's also a edge. It's stopped to the text right here. As you can read, it's a indeed gold skin leather cover. This gold skin is amazing. Now, this is a Clarion uh, Bible. And the Clarion has a very thin paper, but the font is amazing. Look at that, there's a paragraph and single column text. It is slightly bigger than the Skyler's personal size Quintel, but 
both of them are very very readable and portable as you can see uh, this one is a slightly bigger than the other one but it is because it has a different layout it has the cross references on, on the side on each side of the text but the text itself is slightly bigger uh, I also did something to this Bible I changed the cheap ribbons for these three ribbons and I changed also the head and tail band uh, in white you can see there and I chose uh, these uh, colors uh, in honor to uh, the flag of Israel in, in blue, white and blue it reminds me of the talit as well, the prayer shawl so that was that touch little thing there that I did to this edition I really like this Bible now it is very flexible as you can see you can open this wide and, and fold it over if you wanted to and it doesn't hurt it's just so nice and, uh, you have this in different uh, translations you can choose a New King James, ESV, NASB uh, so you have ch uh, plenty of choice right there and uh, that's pretty much it uh, this one only comes as far as I know this one also comes with concordance at the end of it it also comes with let me show you maps 15 maps by Cambridge very good maps I believe amazing maps yeah. color is amazing the letter the lettering the font is, is also very nice very neat and crisp and then at the end you have a couple of pages in blank as well if you wanted to write down a few notes in car stock and that's it this is a um, a comparison not comparison but a quick review on all these hand size uh, uh, editions that uh, I enjoy using, reading from, comparing and taking with me to many places and I uh, hope you enjoy this too and hope this helped you as well on these editions. If you have any questions please ask in the comments and uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so, like us and share if you, you feel led to. Uh, thank you very much, talk to you soon, Shalom.